Hello everybody and welcome to the replay. It is Sunday fun day. We are about to do a fun project. I hope you had a great weekend. I am just going to share this video with the Chocoholics so that it is in there. Share, 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 let you guys come in here. Chocoholics. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hello. I'm just turning the laptop on so there's less of a delay. Say hello as you come in. There is a delay on there. So today, you guys chose a transfer. I thought I put it on here. Hold on, let me get it on here. You chose that. So let me show you what that was. There you go, this was the that. Hey Erin, how you doing? Yeah, so that's what we're doing. <laughs> Get myself back over there. Oh, hey, Carrie. Are you there, too? Hello, hello. <clears throat> what did I do with my transfer? <laughs> okay, I'm going to need some help today in picking colors. So I'm glad you ladies are here. Super glad. I'm gonna probably have to turn on some more lights. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Here we go. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need more light. So the surface that I've chosen for the vat, I'm gonna have the weird Halloween lighting on my face. <laughs> Hello, hello. So this is a stretch canvas that I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, I forget the crazy sale they were having at the time, but it was at one of my Hobby Lobby uh, workshops in Hanover. And it was $12.99. This is embarrassing, okay. <laughs> it was $12.99 at the time, um, but I think it was either 50 or 60% off. Marvinette, if you jump on, um, or on the replay, you can comment because we got these together. Um, I have never chalked on this type of um, canvas before, um, but either it's gonna be amazing or it's not. <laughs> That's our choices, amazing or not amazing. Okay, so I'm just gonna open this. A lot of people that I've talked to, they actually um, wax their canvas or use um, some type of sealant. I really like this. Um, now it's kind of similar to ones that we do the reverse canvas on, but I did not reverse it because what that would mean is I would have cut, and I don't know how this is. It's really pretty, but you know, you have to paint and all that stuff. So this is what we have here. This is what we have. It's not fully even. Um, I'm trying to think the best towel we're gonna use. But what you wanna do, because you know a canvas um, is kind of hollow where the frame is. So we're going to use a towel underneath. Um, I think that'll work. We don't need to fuzz if we're doing a canvas. So this is just my fuzzing towel that I'm gonna use. Okay. Mm -hmm. That I might have just overdone it. But that's okay. I'm gonna get some smaller ones. Let me show you guys what we're doing again. And I didn't mean 
to do that. Hold on. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Okay. So what I grabbed are some smaller towels. Let me fix what I... I don't even know what I did up here. I don't know what I did. Let's see. How you doing, buddy? Thanks for joining us. So all I'm doing is I'm going to fill up the empty space with towel inside the canvas. And my one towel was too big. This is like um, Michelle and the Three Bears. Uh, this towel is too big. <laughs> this towel is too little. We need one that's just right. Okay. That seems perfect. All right. Maybe I could use a little stuffing up here. All right. So there is our surface you think I would have this stuff all set up and ready to go no not me you guys are old-timers though let me say Aaron and Carrie so you I think you just accept me the way I am <laughs> all right there we go so let's take a look at this transfer here we go next to me on the left here I have a bucket of water so what we need is a bucket of water for our um, transfer after we put the paste on. And then our transfer, of course, our surface. And then I have a lot of chalk paste. I'm gonna need a lot of help picking out these colors. So first we're gonna open our transfer. I do have another one of these in stock. Um, so if you love this, you can either go to the shop on this page or just send me a message. You can create your own. I thought we would do something different tonight than a chalkboard. That's why I picked this pretty canvas. And I'm going to cut on the cut lines of this transfer. Here. Betty, is this the first time you've seen a project? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna cut on the cut lines. And what I love about this is when you cut it, you don't have to use all the pieces, or you could use all the pieces, or you could mix and match pieces. You can do whatever you want. Maybe you just want the utensils on here, um, or maybe you just want the Bon Appetit words to go on the wall. Um pretty much it's your creativity um, so you can do whatever you like okay I just want to let you guys know how much I talk <laughs> so I did a video yesterday um, and it's for when I'm in the hospital this week. So you guys don't go into Michelle withdrawal, right? And it was a 37 minute video and I narrowed it down to two minutes. <laughs> so I'm just writing on the back what these are. This is going to make for easy cleanup because these transfers are reusable. So we're just going to match up the back. Um, After we are done, bon appetit. Um, what is, we're gonna say this is, I've never designed this one, so I'm gonna need some help. Um, I'm thinking we're gonna make a wreath. We don't have to, but we can. Olives. Olive, okay. So let's start planning out our colors. Um, we could do our words first. I'm thinking about doing it right about there. So let me make sure this is all gonna fit. Maybe we can just kind of go across. Maybe that should be on the sides. Maybe we'll go this on the top and bottom. And then just keep going around. If we do that, I don't know if we're going to be able to fit the silverware in. So, 
Where are my veterans here? Come and give me. <laughs> Help me out here. What is a good kit kitchen color? Let me see. All right. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to peel off the backing. So you have your transfer. You want to be very careful not to stick the sticky to the sticky. And again, if you are putting this on canvas, we do not need to fuzz. Um, I really wanted the utensils on here, but I'm thinking, I wonder if we could kind of, if it doesn't fit, if we can put it in the wreath. I mean, who doesn't like a wreath with a fork? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put down my Bon Appetit. Mm. Now, especially with the canvas or any type of fabric, you wanna make sure that you don't have any air bubbles. Um, bubble is trouble, and you want to make sure that your transfer is really on your surface so you don't have any bleeding onto the canvas or whatever you have there. I didn't see any comments on the packaging for this that told me whether or not it had gesso. So I'm hoping this does not bleed. All right. So any color, any colors, let's see. I kind of want to do a darker color because we can't do dark colors on chalkboard. So we have black and then we also have um, midnight sky. We can do storm. What do you think, Carrie, Aaron, or Betty? What do you guys think? Um, okay. Nobody wants to say. We could even do like an orange or a purple. All right. I guess we'll go ahead and go with our black. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to go more universal kitchen. Let me take off my glasses here. Anybody have any ideas? Don't be shy, Betty. Okay. So this is my black, but I don't know if I have another black or not. <clears throat> it's getting low. Midnight sky. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, girl. We will do Midnight Sky. Wake me up. <laughs> All right, so what you want is the consistency of sour cream or yogurt. We're perfect right now. So I'm gonna put a little bit of chalk paste on the canvas and then I left my tools where I couldn't reach them. I'm gonna put them next to me here, all my little squeegees, and then we are going to take it and cross our fingers and hope that <laughs> this canvas is legit. Okay, ready? We're just gonna go over the silk screen. Mm -hmm. oh, I love this color and we never get to use it. Only when I use um, canvas or the white magnetic I don't know if I put enough on there. I'm just gonna grab a little bit more. You just want a thin layer. So we're just going to scrape off any excess that we have and we're gonna put it right back into the jar. And then one thing that's important with the canvas is making sure you don't have any paste or ink on your fingers so that you don't stain where you don't want it to go. All right, now you wanna grab two corners, go side to side or up and down. Mm, there we go. Perfect. And then I'm gonna stick this transfer right into that bucket of water. Great color choice. I am gonna get out my little heat tool Great color. Now the wreath itself is not a perfect circle, so 
we're going to have to kind of play around a little bit. Okay, so next we have, I'm just going to put my, we do have this little number here, and then we have this little number here. We can either mix um, different greens or we can do um, other colors. So for greens, we do have lime green. We do have green envy. We do have garden herb, which might look gorgeous with that blue. Um, we do have honeydew, which I think is gonna be a little light. Um, Hmm. I thought I had a kiwi, but, 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 let me see. Hmm. I have a kiwi here, but I think this one's sold. Tisk tisk. Yeah, we're not going to open this kiwi because that one belongs to um, Debbie. Um, I think we're going to go with um, Garden Herb, Erin. That's right. Keep them coming, girl. Now, Erin, do you think we should do both of them in Garden Herb, or should we mix them for the other little piece? What do you think? You're driving this show here. All right, this one we want to be careful because we're going to want to use this piece a few times. So I'm going to put one right across the top like this. Hi Ellen. How you doing Ellen? All right. Let's go like this. We are designing the Bon Appetit. Well, I'm just using the hands. Erin is designing this so far. And we're putting this on canvas. A beautiful canvas. And then we're just going to put the garden herb. Oh, this is going to look so good with the midnight sky here. And then we're going to grab both of them on garden herb. You got it, girl. And then um, this is going to be so good. So it's a little more nerve wracking on canvas because I'm trying not to make a fool out of myself by messing it up. Because if I mess up with the chalk, we can all have a little giggle and I'll wash it off. All right, I think I just went over an air bubble. Remember, bubble is trouble. And then we're gonna take this. Oh my gosh, I love it. I'm gonna put that one there. I'm gonna come around and do another one here. Um, It's likely that I might want to wash this after the second one because the paste might be a little, um, might get a little dry inside the um, silk screen. I'm just gonna pat it. I'm not gonna rub it because if there is any paste that goes through, I don't want it to mess up our um, canvas. So I'm gonna tap it and then make sure my hands are clean. I love the detail in these um, olive leaves. Okay, I want you guys to start thinking about our olive colors too. Jeez, got a lot to think about. <laughs> I didn't realize that these little pieces were olives <laughs> at first, and I was like, that is a weird looking flower. Um, no, Michelle, it's not a flower, it's an olive. But then I'm like, wasn't it like olive branch? Maybe these are branches, olive branch? I feel like every time I do a video, I let you guys know how much I don't know about anything, but all right. So there we go. You're just going to lift this up. This one, um, you can see 
it's kind of neat because it kind of lifts it up because I have chalk paste in my screen um, and it kind of lifts it up giving it another two-tone. So I'm going to go real quick and to the sink right next to me and I'm going to wash the screens out so we can do more. You can just talk amongst yourselves. Talk amongst yourselves. All right. Now I have a towel on my lap. I'm just going to dry this piece off. And, um, Ellen, is this your first video on here? I wonder. This is the first one that you've seen. So all I'm doing in my lap right now that I don't have enough camera screen for is I just washed off the um, branch. And um, I'm drying it in my lap so that I can reuse it. I'm trying to decide how I want this to go because if I put that there well I guess it'll be fine are you sure we shouldn't two-tone it I don't like the way that looks let's see should we two-tone it or should we just bring these in mm -hmm. all right I'm just gonna put this one like this. Um, I can't draw a circle, so I'm hoping you guys aren't expecting me to do this wreath in a perfect circle, because it's okay. <laughs> Ellen is like, what did I get myself into? All right. So our garden herb is already a great consistency. I'm just going to take my squeegee and I'm just going to dip it in there. And then we're going to go ahead and apply it to our silk screen. Might go a little faster so that I don't have the same effect that happened on the other one. This would be really pretty um, in ink also. But remember, ink you have to heat set, so it's really hard to heat set canvas that is not reversed or taken off of the frame first. All right. Oh, Erin, you said that um, perfect timing because I was just wondering in my head. So we'll do the little ones in um, another color. Look how easy that is. And then we're going to hurry up and come over here while this is still wet. What color, Erin, do you think? Mm -hmm. I just wanna pat this down a little bit so we don't have air bubbles, but there's so much paste on it, you don't wanna rub it or you're gonna have smearing on your canvas. Picking up my garden herb. Mm -hmm. But realizing that the little round parts are actually olives and not little buds of some sort, kind of um, makes me laugh. So I'm going to take the excess, a light green, Erin. Okay. I wish I knew where my other kiwi was. I, um, what did I do with that kiwi? I have a brand new kiwi and then I have a kiwi that's sold and I don't want to open the sold one. So I'm putting this transfer that we just used into the bucket of water and then I'm going to use my heat gun just to speed up the drying process.
a light green these days. Um, so for light green, we can choose between, I think lime green might be too fluorescent, but we do have garden herb, which is a little brighter green, and then we have the light, light honeydew. So um, that's our two choices of lighter green. Um, I'm looking all around the room <laughs> to see if I see my um, kiwi. Hold on a second. So kiwi is actually discontinued. That's why I don't want to open the wrong one because I would feel really bad if this person purchased kiwi and I can no longer get it for her. All right. So this is our other leaf pick piece here. Um, and we're going to incorporate it. We're going to overlap it. Kind of like this. Mm. I guess we'll do honeydew because that's a much lighter green. Mm. Light, light honeydew. There you go. It's like you're in my brain because as I think it out loud, you pop up on the screen. So this is our honeydew. If your color looks like it's a little thicker than sour cream or yogurt, we're just gonna add a little bit of distilled water and we are going to... I will say that if you are layering like this, sometimes it is better to put the lighter color down before the darker color, but I think this is gonna give some good depth and definition. I'm hoping. So I'm going to dip my squeegee into the honeydew and just go over it like this. Oh, I'm going to love this. I wasn't really um, loving this transfer when I first saw it, but it keeps selling every time I have it. So I'm like, all right, let me see what the hype is. And it really is amazing. We may have to just do two wash and then do two more again. Hey, Stephanie, how you doing, girl? Mm. Oh, my goodness. That is awesome. Great pick, Erin. Mm. I put this one like this. That looks really good on there. I just read an article actually this week about the Mediterranean diet and how it really is like one of the only proven good for you weight loss. So this is an ode to that. Make sure our hands are clean. Oh my gosh, I love it. I want to do two more in here. I'm not quite sure if we're going to get two more out, but we're going to try before the screens get too gunked up here. I kind of want to turn it this way. Yeah, it's getting a little sticky. I'm doing good, Stephanie. Hold on one second. Just cleaning off this um, transfer really quick. And really what I'm using is this um, board eraser that I love. Let me see. <laughs> Ezra's nose is still a snot faucet, Stephanie, so he's actually going to be taking some cold medicine with dinner. Oh my gosh, I love this. I was really, um, in my head, I was thinking we would put the utensils that come with this within the wreath, and now I think it's too cute to do that. Maybe people don't like my humor. <laughs> Who wants a fork in their wreath? All right, so this is already washed and dried. Usually I get about two good, um, two or so good uses before the screens do get 
junked up with. Wish I could have come today. Too much to do. I get it, girl. It's okay. I get it. That's why I was saying earlier, like, um, for me, Sunday feels like the end of the week. Uh, a lot of people, it's their beginning of the week because they're prepping for the week. Um, you know, those food prep people. I'm not one of them. <laughs> uh, wine is feeling better. Thank goodness. Oh, good. Um, so this is my wind down day. It's my family day. Even though I'm talking today, Sunday is my family day. Look at that. Let me see if you guys can see this. Oh, hold on. Can you guys see the color change? I have the worst lighting. Oh, let me get this on here before it dries on the screen again. We only have one more to do here. As usual, I'm not centered. Nobody should be surprised at my lack of centering. <laughs> Nobody on here. Okay. Stephanie, as you know, my studio is pretty much open 24 hours a day, so we can always um, make your pillow another time. Okay. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm going to put that. I'm going to turn the light back on. Can you guys see? Can you see that? I really love it. We're gonna dry it, and then we have to start thinking of colors for our olives. Um, I think I can imagine like some purple in here. I think I can imagine some oranges in here, but I don't know if I've ever had an orange olive. <laughs> um, I can tell at the bottom this way. I don't have a towel underneath it, so I didn't get the best imprint, but it's cute. It looks very nice. Um, let's see here. <laughs> I need to put my glasses on so I can read your comments. Um, okay, so what we have left, we have um, these little guys, and we have this little guy, but we also have this little guy, this little guy mm, mm, mm. and we have this little guy so initially I thought well maybe we can just throw <laughs> maybe we can just throw some knives and forks in there but now I'm thinking that's just not cute um, that, that just wouldn't be cute right so I'm waiting for Aaron to chime in because we can always put them under, we can always put them around on the outside. I just don't know if that's going to look too weird. Or we can just put like, I don't want to put anything in there because it's so cute. But we could do a little cross. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think, Aaron? Where are you, Aaron? Where are you, Aaron? <sighs> so, uh, different colors. I was thinking we have the darker purple. This is the aubergine. That might go great for an, one of these olives because, I mean, there are purple olives, right? I don't know. I don't know what color. I, when I think of olives, I think brown, which we do have... Um, I do have bark, so we could do brown and purple. Um, I think if I put a gray olive on here, I think it would make me look kind of like it was a bad one. Um, pumpkin pie might be good. It's more of a dark orange. Um, we have orange peel, which is brighter. Uh, shout out some colors. I'm going to get the catalog and show you guys what they did. Oh. So they used the bigger surface in the catalog, and this is what they did. Can you see that? They did, um, 
I did a wreath as well. They did Bon Appetit, looks like in white. Um, and they put, looks like grape soda, not aubergine. And what color is that? It almost looks like they used um, marigold. So almost like a marigold. Okay, there's Erin, bark and purple. Should we just do bark and purple? Should we add another color? Because one of them has three and the other one has one. Oh, they could be grapes, like a grapevine. Oh, hmm. They do look like berries. Um, grapes. They could be a grapevine. Maybe they're not olives. Maybe they're grapes. <laughs> My kitchen is a wine theme, so that would work for me. I just don't know how in this picture they have orange, red, and green. Hey, Cheyenne. How you doing, girl? Well, Erin, where should we put the fork? Where should we put the fork? That's my question. What do we do with this fork? Mm. I don't know. Do you think we should put the fork in the wreath? <laughs> and there's not a silver yet. Thursday, my silver shimmer will come. Oh, I don't want purple and pink, I mean. Purple, yes. Pink, no. I ask you for your opinion and then I say no. Um, but the shimmer silver will be here on Thursday. That's when it's supposed to be shipped. So I'm going to... Check out my aubergine. I'm loving that we could use these dark colors here. I'm gonna stir it up to make sure it's the consistency of yogurt or sour cream and it is perfect. That's gonna be so pretty. Um, going through the wreath. The utensils, Stephanie, you mean? Or red? Um, mm, mm, mm. And then I'm going to check on the bark. My bark is always like brownie batter. I think it's because I chalk in my basement. But I'm going to add a little bit of distilled water in there. We're going to stir that up. Much better. Um, but Stephanie, is that what you mean? The utensils going through the wreath? Because then I'm going to get my storm out, which is the closest thing to like silverware. Yes, from the bottom. You only want the utensils going through the wreath at the bottom? Okay. So we have storm ready. Okay. So I have bark. I have that. Maybe we will do some... I think if I do pumpkin pie, it's going to look like a fall picture. I'm trying to get a visual of what you mean. You don't think we should put it like fork here, a fork there? <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna like it with that in there, but I've never seen it done that way. So maybe we're just, oh, I love it. Look at this, can you guys see? Oh, that looks great. Okay, let's see. Or, or maybe we can just fit it somehow inside the wreath. I don't want it to look crowded. I guess that's my problem. I think if I put them all in. Speak in full sentences, Stephanie. <laughs> I'm getting little fragments like from the bottom and through the wreath. Give me one full sentence of what you want to see. Mm. Okay. I need a drink of water. But you mean um, in the wreath, but only at the bottom? Because I was going to sprinkle the utensils all throughout. <laughs> all right. As my son would say, this is lagging. 
So I'm going to go ahead and take my knife. I'm gonna take the backing off. And I'm gonna throw my first knife. I'm just gonna put it in here. Or is that, um, <laughs> does it seem like I'm like weird? I mean, you guys know I'm weird. So I'm gonna put a knife here. Let's just put one in and see. All three utensils are lined up and down on the bottom. Oh, only in the bottom. So down here, but breaking through the leaf, like we're cutting the leaf. So you want like say, knife. I don't know if um, Storm is gonna be dark enough to, so you want them kind of like this. Like that. I dropped my spoon. Okay, if that's what you mean, let's go for it. That way you guys, I can put you out of your misery <laughs> from my video today. Okay. Because I am not too, too lively. Now, um, normally I say not to fuzz, but because I'm layering, I'm going to fuzz a little bit so that we don't pull up any of this green off of the canvas. So I am fuzzing my fork. All right, I got you, girl. I'm going to put my fork here. What do you think of Storm? Um, okay. So I have my little squeegee that's in half. I'm dipping it in my storm. And then we are going to I inked some um, Chocotour wine glasses today. So they turned out really cute. But I just have to, um, you guys can't even see that. I have to bake it in the oven to make it um, permanent before I can, there you go, show you guys. So there's our fork. I wish the shimmer um, silver was here already. Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. I'm gonna have my shimmer gold, my shimmer copper. needing some help today girl now I am gonna fuzz my spoon also and I'm going to put this the transfer is like translucent just enough that I can see the fork through it And then again, I'm going to dip my squeegee into the storm. And we're going to chalk. We're working on canvas today, Deborah. This is a canvas from Hobby Lobby that I was a little nervous about, but I'm loving it right now. Canvas is a great way to be inexpensive and beautiful. You could even paint the canvas first if you wanted to. Okay, now I'm just sticking this in the water. ran away with the spoon and we're going to put this one right here is this your vision Stephanie I hope so I hope so if this one wasn't so big and bulky I would make this as a giveaway for the shares of the video but um, I don't know if I can ship this easy there will be a gratitude envelope for the shares though mm -mm. I replenished my stock yesterday I made some cards I made more birthday cards for April and I um, made more gratitude cards so if you got a message for me asking for your birthday it's because I was updating my list yesterday 
Mm. Okay. Look at that. Can you guys even see? Ta-da! Alright. Now we're going to work on... One thing I could do is, though, put this for sale in the, um, in the shop. Okay, so now we have olives. We have these, I mean, they're questionable olives, not sure. So the colors I have picked so far are bark and um, aubergine, and I would like one more color. I feel like we should have three colors, but I guess we could do two. I guess, I guess, I guess. So I'm peeling the backing off of these. I wrote olives on the back, so we're gonna have to make it an olive. <laughs> Thanks, Stephanie. Okay. I'm going to fuzz this. You don't normally have to fuzz for canvas, but I am worried that it's going to peel off some of that um, wreath. And then I'm going to just kind of put this one over here like this. And then I'm going to fuzz this one. Lighter purple. Well, the only other purple until the new colors come that I have is grape soda. So it's that bright pop of purple. Where are you, grape soda? Where are you? You're black. You are honeydew. So we have, this is the grape soda. So I don't know if it's lighter, but it's brighter. Um, I wish we had like a violet right now, but we'll have to wait for the new stuff. All right, so I want, I'm gonna pull out my multi tools here and I'm going to dip this in and that one. Perfect. And then I'm going to do some bark here. Put the excess back in the jar. We want our cans to go a long way. Oh wow, that's amazing. That. And then I'm just gonna move it over here. I think because these are um, smaller surface area, I think we're gonna be able to do more without um, washing. So we're gonna try. Got that. And then in the aubergine. There we go. Now the, the other one, we're gonna have to do one color only. That's why I'm thinking we should pick a third color. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go rinse this off because you can see these little ones here didn't come all the way through the screen the second time. Okay, I'm gonna show you how I remedy that. <clears throat> so I rinsed off my transfer. I have a towel in my lap and I'm just drying it off. Drying off both sides, super sticky. And then I'm gonna just touch these with my dryer. And then I'm gonna wanna place this back on top and do that aubergine again on here. The bark came out fine. It's the other two that kind of stuck in the screen because it was dried. Mm. 
And so I picked the smallest. <laughs> I picked the smallest little olive. It's like the little olive that could. Hmm. Okay. Perfect. Then I'm going to go up here. Let's see if we can get Let's see if we can get those good. I'm putting some bark on here. Perfect. And then I'm trying to get the aubergine. So Stephanie, going to pick a third color. Did you say red? Red or pumpkin pie? Those are my picks, so um, we'll do the single one in a third color. Perfecto. I'm putting that in the bucket of water. <clears throat> so we have our third one here. And... Red. Okay. We have candy apple. Candy apple. I'm just going to stick my squeegee right in there and go over with our red. really bright. We'll put another one over here. The red is um, very thin, so I know that we can do more. Hey, Lori. I'm looking up here, but I don't think I want another red one there, so I'm going to show you guys something. I'm going to make sure my hands are clean. And I'm going to put this here. I'm going to show you guys how I do this real quick. How you doing, Lori? And then I'm um, putting some water and I'm going to wash off that red. There we go. That is how perfect our board eraser works. And then I'm going to put it in between the towels and just dry it. So it kind of dries and fuzzes at the same time. And then bringing this back, I think I'm going to put a bark one right here. Those reds are bright. I love it. Um, I think that's all I'm going to add there. So I'm going to put this in my bucket of water. Oop, put it in upside down. Now you can go crazy with these and you can do like a million <laughs> if you wanted to. I'm going to show you guys what we have here, okay? All right, you ready? So happy I made it live that early. <laughs> well, I mean, that's kind of a mess tonight. Let's see what we have here. What do you guys think? Bon appetit. Can you guys see the whole thing? Oh, I love it. Great color choices. Thank you, Erin and Stephanie. Wasn't that fast? And doesn't it just go great on this canvas? I'm watching the, the delay and I'm watching my um, laptop and it's really far behind. <laughs> so 
So um, I've been checking all day, hoping that Club Couture would be activated today, and I still don't see it. So um, boo for that. I'm just closing up some of my paste so that I don't get anything on my canvas, especially with this red, because I am not good with red. All right. Thank you guys very much. Tell me how you love this project. I can't even hold it up straight because my camera is crooked. Look at that. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you guys. Have a great week. Um, I do have some recorded videos that I can't wait to share with you guys this week. And one of them, it is super hard for me not to give you guys a sneak peek of what I did yesterday. Oh, I love it. Um, but stay tuned. It'll be there. Thank you very much. Bye.